All right, what's going on, guys? Sorry, you want to back back with another video. The last one was kind of brutal. I didn't get a very long gameplay with the uh, team deathmatch game, but I'd, I'm going to leave it. I don't care. That's just to give you an idea of what kind of game mode to play and what it's like to jump into that server. It was almost over. I apologize if you didn't like that. I keep on keep watching. I'll probably play team deathmatch again eventually. Today we're going to talk about domination. Uh, it's another game mode from Call of Duty that you guys are probably used to if you're coming from COD. Uh, we're going to jump into a server here, R3, and uh, just, just uncheck Team Deathmatch, and we're going to come down here to Domination and uh, hit that back button. Not a lot of servers for Domination, but that is okay because we're looking at uh, we're looking at everything, East and West U.S., so we're not looking at overseas. So, All right, so we got Domination on High Name Resort, Domination on Flood Zone, Domination on Rogue Transmission. Rogue Transmission is probably, it's probably the best one to to learn on dumb uh, yeah we'll go with rogue transmission I'll probably get my ass handed to me on high end resort so like I said before this is probably going to take a minute for it to load up I'll cut this out and then uh, come back when the game has started alright we're back so the last uh, last game ended pretty quick and I just went ahead and found a different server I didn't care for that server at all so we are just like I said this is domination this will be good we'll start right now before the game ends but this is domination in a nutshell guys we're going to just like Call of Duty, you want to run around and cap flags. There's three flat main flag points that you want to cap. And, uh, sound horde that teammate there. But it's, it's more objective oriented because you don't have to worry about. I could have rescued the teammate there, but. God damn. Give him oh wrong one. Patty cake. Alright, he's back. Cap this flag point real quick. This is it, dude. Like you just want to get in here and start uh capping flag points and playing objectives and getting used to the movements of the game and all the bullshit you'll run into because different sounds like I just heard a spawn beacon ah, I ran out of ammo that should have been a kill that guy's dead I don't know if there's oh saw him too late that was all me so yep yeah, just get in here and get used to the movements of the game Figure it out, uh, you know, different spawn points and flag points. You can spawn on teammates and stuff. And I do. I am in a squad right now. Of course, they're all dead. My teammates are getting absolutely destroyed, but that's not unusual, especially when you play solo. Shit. <laughs> this way. But, yep, three main flag points of domination. Just like, there, I spotted a. Oh, if you want to spot t enemies, too, that's another. Another thing you can do is uh, hit R1 while you're aiming at an enemy. Let's see if I can do another one here. All right, just like that. Damn. Damn. Then you get killed by a fucking asshole with a shotgun from that distance is bullshit, dude. I don't care if you do have a full choke on. That's a long range for a buckshot. That's long range for buckshot. It's bullshit. So, R1 to spot targets. I highly recommend you do that. Definitely, definitely want to do that. So, I heard that guy. Definitely use a uh, headset. You'll thank me later. I hear people all around me, that's why I'm like moving slow. Yep, I knew he was there. So, make sure you're spotting targets. Unless you can kill them. Or spot them and then kill them. My teammates aren't worried about, like right there. See, I'm tapping R, I'm tapping R1 as I aim at those guys so that I can 
feel like I can spot them for my teammates. Is you wanna? I got lucky. I knew that guy was beside me, but I couldn't do. Oh, that one the guy I was thinking was there. But yeah, so that's how domination plays out, guys. We're just gonna finish out this game, and then uh, we'll call it a game. Call it a call it a video or whatever. It's almost almost over. Thirty three tickets left on our team. So we're we're losing pretty bad, but like I said, it's Battlefield for me is not really all about win loss or KD. It's just about having fun. And when you start playing with friends and whatnot, I mean, if you want to add me on PSN, just send me a message saying, "Hey, I'm so and so. I've watched your videos." There's that asshole with the goddamn buckshot from a mile away again. Fuck you, dude. Why isn't this guy dead? Holy shit. Maybe I just can't kill him. Look at me. I was hurt. I had to have been fucking... I, I didn't even look to see how, how bad I was, but... Anyway, yeah, so hit me up on, you know... I don't even know why I took the revive. Now I'm just taking deaths. This is what I was talking about. You can't... You cannot play Battlefield and worry about your KD. You just can't. You just can't. Because that's the kind of shit that's going to happen to you. I could have just not taken the revive, but... Like an idiot, I did it anyway, and I died like three times right there, but whatever. So, yeah, that's domination in a nutshell. Let me know if you guys want to play sometime on here. Like, I'm, we're, we're starting a, uh, a community group to play. Uh, it's called UNOB on PS4. Look it up. And, uh, yeah, let me know. Send me an invite game, you know, to play Battlefield or whatever. Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1 when it comes out, just let me know. Uh, other than that, it's Hurt Chief 1. I am...